All right, Shalom. First off, I'm to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudas. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing this work in truth and sincerity. I want to go on, on this video, okay? Are you filling your spiritual belly with proper nourishment? OK. And, um, you know, that is a question, you know, um, for, you know, those of us that's in this faith. OK. And, um, you know, let's get this word nourishment. OK. Because the, the, the scriptures is equated as food. OK. And it says, uh, to supply with food and drink, feed, to bring up, to nurture, to promote the growth or development of a child, a young animal. It says, a vice. Okay. That's a good, that's a good one. Um, um, a feeling. Okay. To raise, to bring up, to nurture, to foster, to maintain or provide for. Okay, to feed, to nurse, foster, support, or preserve. Okay, uh, says see, see who give suck. Okay, one of the scriptures that come to mind. Okay, in regards to that. Okay, is uh, who shall we make to understand uh, doctrine? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Isaiah 28 and 9, right? And it says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. It says, For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Okay? So, you know, the proper, the, the, the nourishment, that comes from the scriptures, okay, of, uh, you know, through the Holy Spirit, right, us, you know, being um, fed properly, okay, then it also says to swim, right, or flow or let flow, okay, which is another one because the scriptures is equated as living waters, okay, you know, but, uh, that uh precept right there you know you you when we talk about uh them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast right coming into the knowledge okay we supposed to be living off of what the bible say okay if you are you know um trying to be a man or a woman of the lord okay when it comes down to trials, tribulations, or the things that, you know, comes with building us up in this faith, okay, we have to, we have to lean on these scriptures, okay, because this is how we get fed, okay, um, going through something, okay, dealing with problems in life, you know, learning knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, OK, even understanding ourself, OK, and being wise and, you know, with certain decisions for ourself. OK. Um, whereas those certain certain motives and certain things that we do, you know, to try to feel some type of fulfillment isn't normally there. OK. Whatever it is in this world, man, you're not going to really feel fulfilled as much as the scriptures will fulfill you okay when it comes down to learning about the truth okay experiencing the truth is one thing okay when you experience the truth and you able to know okay the bible says this is something that you might go through and then you actually go through it okay whether you know it could be with a child okay um 
you 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 know depending on how old the child may be but you know you got to you got to raise that child a certain way okay having compassion with with another brother okay dealing with life as it comes along okay and using these scriptures okay to help guide you okay on your path to being you know uh 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 you know the path of righteousness okay so the the scriptures is created is um uh food okay food and drink okay you know a lot of our people they they don't uh want to get it they don't understand right this is uh isaiah 55 and 1 it says ho every which means listen by the way everyone that thirst right thirst for knowledge thirst for you know what to do and how to do it right how to live okay why are we living in the first place okay it says everyone that thirst come ye to the waters the waters is the scriptures okay a lot of people can't swim in these waters okay you got to be taught how to swim in them okay a lot of people, you know, come into these scriptures and they see certain things and they they drown, you know, because they don't, you know, um, they don't want to, you know, let let things come to them. Let the Holy Spirit deal with them, you know. So when dealing with certain uh, trials, tribulations, OK, you can feel like you're drowning because all of these things that are around you. OK, it's bringing pressure. OK, and, um, you know, some people, they don't want to hear about what the Bible say, you know, during certain and, and it it uh, it drowns them out. They want to drown out the Bible. OK, but um, this is this is fresh water. OK, this is this is something. You know, if you use it the the um, proper way, man, the outcome and the benefits of it is tremendous. Okay, compared to, um, you know, if we if we talking about filling your spiritual belly, okay, uh, you want to just drink soda all the time, okay, you you know, and 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 thinking that you know all these um. What's the word? Man-made artificial products, okay? Using technology or, you know, all these different escapes, you know, different inventions, man, to try to, um, you know, fulfill some type of purpose, man, for you, okay? When your purpose is, you know, when you're dealing with something, that could be hard, okay? That could be rough. Focusing on your Yahweh, on his word. Listening into it, into the word, praying onto the Lord, okay, and dealing with the problems, man, you know, um, accordingly, okay. So a lot of people, okay, uh, if you if you thirsting for the knowledge, right, you thirsting, come to the waters, come to the fresh waters, right. It says, and he that has no money, right, come ye buy and eat. Right. And this is without uh, price. It says, yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. OK. The wine is something that makes a man marry. OK. Supposed to make you marry. OK. Supposed to make you happy. OK. Um, these scriptures are supposed to make you ha happy. OK. Growing into it. OK. Uh, when you, when you get, uh, get the, the, some wine, some wines are bitter. Okay. But, uh, you know, the, the after effect is to help you, you know, deal and cope with, you know, the things that are in this world. Okay. So, you know, if you just drinking wine all day, Okay, it could be a bad thing, you know, 
You got to have some type of, you know, nourishment. You got to have some type of food, okay? And, you know, a lot of people out here, uh, you can see from their diets, you know, that's a that's a giveaway of, uh, you know, the GMO, you know, the GMOs and, you know, just how messed up it is, you know, what these people' mindsets are, you know, towards uh, life, okay? That gluttonous spirit, okay? Um, but we're, we're talking about, you know, the spiritual belly, okay? And, and having the proper nourishment, okay? Um, it says, wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? And your labor for that which satisfies not, right? So a lot of people, they labor for certain things and it don't satisfy, okay? You putting in all your time for... All these different things out here in this world, okay? Relationships that, you know, ain't going to work, okay? And then if you if you do get that, right, is that satisfying you, okay, properly? You know, is that what you, what you are laboring for? Because you got a lot of people that, for example... They, they think that being an Israelite is something that's supposed to be entertaining to them, okay? So they'll they'll look for certain videos that's entertaining to them, right? Just to be satisfied, you know, to, to feel some type of satisfy, satisfaction, okay? Rather than, you know, being built up, Okay? It says, hearken diligent, diligently unto me. And it says, eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Okay? We giving you, you know, this is one of the reasons why the scriptures is equated to uh, a bread, right? Because in the Lord's Prayer, it says, give us this day our daily bread, right? So we're supposed to be looking for what's inside of the word, you know, to help us, you know, throughout our everyday life. OK, so I wanted to go from there to um, first Corinthians 10 and one. It says, moreover, brethren, I would not have you. I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and, and were baptized onto Moses and the cloud. And in the sea, it says, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, right? It says, and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Yahawashah. So when our people were in the wilderness, right? The Lord wanted our people to solely depend on him. He just saved us from from um, from Egypt. OK. And, you know, our people, you know, even though we left out of Egypt with, you know, substance and all that stuff. Right. We we were in that in the wilderness. OK. And. You know, we didn't have a um, a place to call our home yet. Okay? So, that 40 years that our people were in the wilderness, right? We had to learn throughout those years, man, to depend on Yahweh by Simeon Okay? So, that food that was coming coming down, right, was us relying on the Lord. OK. <laughs> and that's how we supposed to be in right now. We supposed to be in that spiritual eating spiritual meat. OK. Which is relying on the Lord, man. Yeah. How about some outside? OK. This is uh the book of uh, John six and uh, 22, right? Um, it said, I'm going to read it in the Amplified Version. It says, the next day, the crowd that stood on the other side of the sea 
realized that there had been only one small boat there and that Yahweh Shah had not boarded the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Now, some other small boats from Tiberias had come in near place where they ate the bread after the Lord had given thanks. It says, so when the crowd saw that neither Yahweh nor his disciples were there, they boarded the small boats themselves and came to Capernaum looking for Yahweh And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? <laughs> Yahweh answered, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, you have been searching for me, not because you saw the signs, it says, attesting miracles, but because you ate the loaves and were filled, right? It says, do not work for the food or for food that perishes, but for food that endures and leads to everlasting life, okay? The food that we supposed to be in this faith, putting in our spiritual belly, okay, is what leads us to eternal life, man, Okay? We, we we can have an appetite for, you know, other things and stuff like that here and there. OK, but if you just if you just ate, you know, garbage or, you know, uh, candy all day. How do you think what, what's going to come out of you, man? You know, it ain't going to be good. It ain't going to feel good. OK, it might feel good if you just ate that candy for a little bit. OK, it might be pleasurable onto you right then and there. OK, but you can't be eating candy all the time and expect, you know, you know, your body to, to feel good about, you know, at the end of the day. OK, so what are we doing as far as, you know, putting in our spiritual belly? OK. Eating the proper food, eating, having the proper nutrition, the proper nourishment. OK. So what comes out of us is is healthy. Okay? It says which the son of man will give you, right? The 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 bread, the the food that leads on to or the meat, it says the meat and um the KJV, right? Um it says the food that endures and leads to eternal life in the amplified version, which the son of man will give you for God the Father, which is Yahweh, has authorized him and has put and put his seal on him. Then they asked him, What are we to do so that we may have habitually be doing the works of God? Yahweh Shah answered, This is the work of God that you at that you believe. Adhere to, trust in, rely, and have faith in the one whom had whom he has sent. Okay? So once again, this is the work that you that we must do, right? We got to adhere, right? Look at that word adhere. Let's get the, the etymology of it. It says to stick... To adhere, to stick or cling to, okay? To cleave to a leader, a cause or party, okay? So we got to cleave on to Yahweh Basim Yahweh, okay? It says uh, adherence, right? Steady attachment of the mind and feelings to a person. A cause or belief. Okay. So we supposed to be attached to the mind and the feelings of what Yahweh Shah wants from us. Okay. I says in the cause, man. The cause is, you know, the greatest cause ever, man. Okay. So it says uh, to adhere, right? To cleave on to Yahweh, right? It says to trust in, 
trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean out onto your own understanding. Right? It says to rely on. Our reliance, right? Give us this day our, our daily bread. We don't rely. We shouldn't be relying on these jobs to, you know, supply us with our everyday life, man. You know? Because <laughs> the, these jobs that we have, for example, they could get taken away. Okay? And they will be taken away. Because that's not our calling. Our calling ain't to be some, you know, uh, whatever job it is, you know, putting in all these hours on the job. You want to put hours in, you want to put hours in on this truth. Okay? It says, uh, and, and have faith in the one whom he has sent. Okay? That is the works that we're supposed to be doing. Okay? <laughs> it says, so that, it says, so they said to him, what sign or testing miracle will you do that we may see it and believe you? What supernatural work will you do as proof? Our fathers ate the, the manna in the wilderness as it said in the scripture. He gave them bread out of heaven to eat. Then Yahweh said to them, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, it is not Moses who, gave, who has given you the bread out of heaven, but it is my father who, get, who gives you the true bread out of heaven. For the bread of God, well, Yahweh is he who comes down out of heaven and gives life to the world. Okay. Then they said to him, Lord, always give us this bread. Yahweh replied to them, I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me will never hung, be hungry. And the one who believes in me as savior will never be thirsty. For that one will be will be sustained spiritually. Okay. So if you're in this truth, man, you ain't you ain't supposed to be hungry, man. Okay. If you're gonna be hungry, be hungry for your house. Ah. Okay. All the all the desires and all the stuff that you could imagine, man, is gonna come. And some of this stuff might be harder for some people, you know, than others, you know. Spiritual, the, the spiritual aspect, some of it might be harder than, you know, for others, man, you know, but if you really got that spiritual fortitude and you really want to um, get, you know, on a spiritual diet, you got to pray for that. Okay. Pray to your how about some of side acts can you so receive because it says our daily bread. You got to ask for that daily bread. To fulfill your appetite, to fulfill your your desires, okay, what you hunger and thirst for, okay, and our hunger and our thirst to be for the for Yahweh Shimon Sa and the knowledge, wisdom and understanding that comes from these scriptures. That's how we get properly properly nour nourished, because we we cleaving on to the Lord, we relying on the Lord, we trusting in the Lord. How do we do that through the scriptures? So when Yahweh Shimon Sa, okay, comes to deliver us man you know he ain't, he ain't coming to and seeing malnourished people a, a malnourished nourished person and someone who would end up taking that MOTB okay someone that could be a freedom fighter right someone that you know uh you know end up, you know, dying, you know, on this side. And it could be because of, you know, real, uh, you know, a famine. Okay. <laughs> it could be really because of a famine. Whereas though, if you, you know, in the middle of a famine, you, you might not even have an appetite because you already focused on the Lord, you know? So you'd be able to, to live a little bit longer because you ain't worried about you know, the food and stuff like that. The physical food, like a lot of these people out here going to be going crazy, going bonkers, man, because they ain't got no food. Okay? They ain't going to know what to do, where they where they going to scramble at to get their food. Some people going to be wanting to get, you know, the spiritual food that we are, 
you know, have plenty of right now. Okay, and there's plenty to go around, but these people don't want want that. Two thirds of our, our people don't want that. There's plenty of food and drink to go around, man. You know, spiritual food and drink to go around. Okay. It says, uh, but as I told you, 36 verse, you have seen me and still you do not believe. All that my father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will most certainly not cast out. I will never, never reject anyone who follows me. Okay. So we woke up, we cleaving on to the Lord. And the Lord ain't going to reject someone who, you know, loves him. You got to prove that you love him, keeping his commandments. Okay. So we don't, we don't worship an unrighteous God. That's one thing that Jake got to realize, you know. The Lord, you know, is not unrighteous. Okay. Yeah, we are the hopeful elect, you know. And we hope to be a part of the elect. But the Lord don't take pleasure in, you know, just destroy, you know, bringing somebody in and just, you know, destroying them, even though he can do what he wants. You know, he don't take pleasure in that. He want he want us to live onto him, you know. So that should be the mindset that we supposed to be in this thing, man. Like, you know, we we got you know uh, uh, the greatest power of all, man, backing us, man. You know, and feeding us, okay, and nourishing us throughout these times, man. And and you know. When when it all goes down, we're going to be really well fed, fed compared to these people out here that don't know what the heck is going on. Okay? So with that, you know, I just wanted to do this video, man. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say salam until next time.